Hello, my name is David Mudre. I own David Mudre Photo and Video, a commercial photography and video production company based out of Virginia. I wanted to start putting together some videos about lighting tips that I've come across over the years or lights that I use and how I use them, what lights I use and when or why, um, and cheap ways to get professional results out of low cost lighting. So first things first, how do I light this scene that we're in right now? Uh, I will cut to the B camera, which you can see I've got a two cool, mini cools that are bouncing into a four by four of po white poly insulation. Um, and then behind me is the light that I'm gonna talk about today, actually. This is the bar light from Lowe's. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Lowe's into the fluorescent lighting section where they have all the four foot strips. And you're gonna buy this. This is a Utilitech LED bar light. And they have these at Lowe's. The four foot sections are $35, I believe. And they also come in two foot sections for $25. 4,000 degrees Kelvin, really, really nice um, edge light. I'll show you a clip here where I used it as an edge light uh, on a recent video for my church. And then I also use them as, uh, because they are such a long source, I use them as a key light, which you're probably looking at right now. Uh, that was for a video that should be coming out in the next couple days. Uh, that's a history show that I work on. Um, and they're really, really great. Uh, color rendering index, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's definitely higher um, than the cheap LEDs that we saw over the past couple years. Um, I'm not sure if this is up to par. I'm probably not up to par with the new lights from Aperture and whatnot that are all above 95 CRI, but it's enough for most things that you're gonna use it for. Um, so let's break this down. Um, so when you buy this light, it's gonna come completely just in a box. There will be no power cable uh, attached to it. So what you're gonna have to do is wire a power cable into the light. And that's really not that hard. Um, I'm gonna open this up and I'll kind of show you what that looks like um, and kind of how to do it and how not to do it because I mis made a mistake when I made this first when I ran the power cable out the center hole. Um, but, so here we go. I'm going to take these clamps off first. Um, these are what I had to rig it up originally um, before I had an idea and before I had the clamp for the C-stand. Uh, you take the rubber pieces off the bottom here and most light stands have a quarter 20 screw head on top and you just take a nut and you lower this hole over top of the quarter 20 and tighten the nut to it. And it takes two light stands, but it works really well to hold it parallel. Um, you can see, I'll cut to a behind the scenes shot right now where you can see how I rigged this up originally uh, before I got the little bit fancier version. So we'll take the clamps off here. And it's really simple. Uh, this cable I had just laying around the house. It was on a defunct piece of electronics that didn't really work anymore. Um, but so you push this top segment to the side here. Oops. You push this top segment to the side and then peel it. It's kind of, kind of a little bit of a knacky kind of thing to get it open. And then once you get one side, the other just kind of pops off like that. Oh, come on. And if you pinch, it really helps. So you pinch it and then you have, that separates the LED from the rest of it. So inside you'll find they give you three wire nuts, which is great. You don't have to buy your own. And all I did was simply put the power cable through this punch out hole in the bottom here and wired it up to the three pieces for hot, cold, and ground. Or I'm not an electrician. My dad helped me with this wiring originally, um, but it's easy, you match the black wire to the black wire, the white wire to the white wire, and the green wire is your ground. So once you have that wired up, what you can do um, is you're gonna wanna break off this end piece right here. There's a little connector where you can string them together for if you did a long run of these lights, you can just attach them and run it off of one power cable, which is another cool thing if you're doing a music video or you wanna light a hallway um, and you don't want to have power cables going everywhere. You can just plug these together in the ends, um, but you're going to rip that off. Uh, I cut the wires here. Um, on didn't do it on this side. I did it on the other side. So, and it's in the light that's above my head, but you can see you just cut these three wires and tape them off. And then you're going to take this plastic piece out of the side 
and then you're just gonna run the cable in this side section right here so that you have like what I've got over my head where the power cable is not coming directly out of the middle. Um, and the thing that I knocked over is actually what I'm gonna talk about next. So the way that you make this work and make it able to be used with C-stand and regular clamps is you're gonna buy a four inch bolt and two nuts and two washers. So you will take the nuts off and what I do is I tightened one all the way to the back just so there's not much extra screw sticking through into the body of this thing. So, and you'll leave one washer on and what you're gonna wanna do so for this one, I'm going to leave it like it is, and I'm going to add a... This is essentially adding what would be... I can't remember the word for it, but there will be links in the description for all of this stuff. Um, this from Lowe's, I just bought these bolts at Home Depot. It's pretty, pretty easy to, to find. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver and something heavy to hit it with, and we're going to knock out one of these two sides. Let's knock out this piece right here. So we're gonna just, you'll see there's two little tack welds or two little spot welds right there. Put the tip of the screwdriver right on those and just, and there it goes. And then put it on the other side and then, and that's how those come out. So once we've done that, and you should be able to see that on this camera here, you have a nice little hole. So once you have your hole, you're gonna take with your washer and your nut already in place and put that through the bottom, actually. Yeah, put that through the bottom. And then you're gonna drop the other washer down in here and make sure that it doesn't hit the wires or anything like that. We're gonna make sure the wires are out of the way. Once it's on there, exactly like that, good. Make sure that this nut is all the way on and then we'll take our other nut and screw it on down in here. Oh. oh nuts. All right. And you'll tighten that down until it's pretty tight. And then what you want to do is get some vice grips and you're going to take and grab the nut with the vice grips on the inside while you take a and this is metric, so this is a 19 millimeter. And we're gonna go ahead and just tighten the bolt so that holds all of the pressure. All of the pressure stays between those two washers and that's gonna create a nice tight hold here and that's gonna allow you to clamp it into a regular uh, C-stand knuckle or whatever else you would use, it's just like that. All right, and then once that's tight, we'll pop the vice grips off. And there it is. And we'll put this, put the LED back on, make sure everything's in the channel here. All right. And then we will lock it down. Putting it back on. Oh, come on. Getting it back together can be somewhat difficult, but it just takes a little bit of knack to get it in there. There we go. All right, and it just clicks back together like that. And now you have a solid mounting point that you can then mount this light to a C-stand. And I did it this one this way so that I can mount it vertically and raise it up or down. The other one I put in the middle, there is a punch out hole in the middle, like you can see. And that one's great if you wanna run it like I showed you before where it's in the middle of something and it's above the talent and you can run it a nice horizontal light that way. But yeah, guys, gals, all cinematographers out there, people, check this light out. It really is cool. Um, I'm gonna have a video coming up next. I'm gonna try to have, I'm gonna create some magnetic uh, barn doors that you'll be able to put on here out of really cheap materials and you'll be able to make it yourself so that way you can control the spill. Um, occasionally I'll put duct tape just on parts of it to control some spill here and there on these lights, which is great. They don't get hot, which is another amazing thing. These cool lights that are my key right now are hotter than a six shooter. So great light, low cost, LED, super versatile. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this light or where to get it or any tips or ways that I can make these videos better, things you'd like to see me talk about, please comment below. Uh, give me a subscribe and a like for this video. I'd really appreciate it. 
and I will play you a song now. Thanks for watching. Till next time.